capitellum fracture. Be aware of coronal shear fracture of the capitellum that includes the capitellum and part of the trochlea. A coronal shear fracture involves the capitellum and extends medially to include part of the trochlea. In this case, you will see a double arc on the lateral x-rays. One arc represents the capitellum and the other arc is the lateral ridge of the trochlea. Fracture of the capitellum in general can be missed on lateral view x-ray if the fragment is too small. There are four types of capitellar fractures. The first type constitute a large fragment of bone and articular cartilage. The second type is characterized by a small shell of bone and articular cartilage. The third type is a comminuted fracture of the capitellum. The fourth type is the vertical shear type where the fracture extends medially and that fracture includes the capitellum and the trochlea. You can see the double bubble or the double arc on the lateral x-rays. Fracture of the capitellum may be associated with other injuries to the ligaments or to the bones. The fracture may also block movement of the elbow or cause instability of the elbow. Rarely a CT scan is needed unless the fracture is a part of a complex injury of the elbow. Treatment of capitellar fractures. Or IF using lateral approach. The most common outcome with open reduction in tendon fixation is elbow stiffness, and the patient may need more surgery in the future to release the elbow contractures. If it is a large fragment of bone, then fix it. If it is a small shell of bone and cartilage, either you excise it, and sometimes we fix it. If it is a comminuted fracture of the capitellum, excise it. If it is a double arc fracture, which is a major fracture, then you do open reduction internal fixation. Some of these fractures require headless screws. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.